How to install Descendant 11 based on Android 11 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Descendant 11 ROM based on Android 11 on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Now, as you can see, I do have the Redmi K20 Pro, which is running MIUI 12 based on Android 10. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? For starters, you need to have an unlocked bootloader. Then you need to have a custom recovery installed. I am using TWRP recovery videos on how to unlock the bootloader, how to install a custom recovery on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro can be found in the description of this video. Next thing you need to make sure is that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Another thing you need to make sure is that you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Because if you run into any boot loops, encryption issues, you will have to perform a format data, in which case you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device and in case you're wondering what wallpaper is this this is the live wallpaper from the Mi Mix Fold and the video for that can be found in the description of this video as well now what are the files which we need all the files which you need are linked in the description of this video so for starters you need descendant 11 rom itself and do note g apps are baked into the rom then in case your device is decrypted you need disable force encryption and you also need the vendor plus firmware file for your variant of the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro now how do you know whether your device is encrypted or not so for me ui you will go into settings password and security privacy as you can see encryption and credentials says phone not encrypted this means my device is decrypted and i need to flash disable force encryption now those of you who are on custom roms based on aosp you can go into settings and then if you go into security as you can see encryption and credentials says encrypted which means this pixel to excel here is encrypted and you might have to tap on advanced to see the option for encryption and credentials and before i forget another thing i would like to mention is that if you're jumping from android 10 to android 11 on an encrypted device it is recommended that you perform a format data because encryption might be different for android 10 and your custom rom based on android 11 so that is something which you should keep in mind and that is one of the reasons why i prefer to run a device which is not encrypted anyways next thing You'll go into settings, password and security, remove your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, you can go back, go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once you've removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We're doing this because we're going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. Of course, those of you who are running custom ROMs based on AOSP, you won't have the option of removing your Mi account. Next thing we need to do is we need to boot into our custom recovery. So for starters, turn off your device and once the device is turned off press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the custom recovery or in this case twrp recovery boot logo and here it is we are on the home screen and we're going to wipe advanced swipe select dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into install now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder in case you transferred them manually from your computer you would know the folder where you placed them so first up we need to flash the vendor plus firmware file for the redmi k20 pro or your variant of the xiaomi mi 90 pro add more zips next up descendant 11 based on android 11 g apps are baked in then those of you whose device was decrypted like me my device was decrypted add more zips select the disable force encryption file or disable dm verity and then swipe to confirm flash now once all the files have flashed successfully we are going to make sure there were no errors so here it is flashing the vendor and firmware file 
scroll down and as you can see everything was installed without any issues script succeeded result was one then we are flashing descendant 11 itself and this of course is based on android 11 again script succeeded result was one and then we are flashing disable force encryption now with disable force encryption make sure it is patching some f stab in vendor slash etc and once you've confirmed that tap on the home button now what if no f stab was patched you'll go into mount mount the vendor partition by selecting it go back to home install and flash disable force encryption one more time and this time it should patch some f stab in vendor slash etc now those of you whose device was encrypted and you're jumping from android 10 to android 11 you'll go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right of the keyboard do note format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device another thing i would like to mention is if you are switching from oss vendor to miui vendor it is recommended that you perform a format data in that case also so descendant 11 at the time of recording this video is based on miui vendor so if you're running a rom like say paranoid android which is based on oss vendor then perform a format data as well we are going to try out our luck and going to reboot select system without performing a format data and there it is we do have the descendant 11 boot animation on our redmi k20 pro which means our device is booting into descendant 11 based on android 11 the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the setup screen and let me go ahead and skip the initial setup real quick so we are on the home screen of descendant 11 we can go into settings for starters let us go into security as you can see phone is not encrypted which means disable force encryption was flashed without any issues next up if i go into about phone and now if i tap on the android version you will see we are running descendant 11 based on android 11 security patch is from april 2021 and the kernel they are using is perf kernel because they are using miui vendor and there it is peeps we have successfully installed descendant 11 rom based on android 11 on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you